to say the new generation preachers are not doing worse or will not do worse than the old generation is an understatement. This video you're about to watch is um, because of the controversy, the video I posted about Baba Deboye concerning where I said, where I tagged, you no, know, where he said he will, can go on his knees if need be to apologize to the new generation. And um, I said in that video, before I go on, let me just first welcome you to my YouTube channel. My name is Really Talk with Antia Duni. If you are just getting this video, to see my channel and to my subscribers i want to say welcome i want to say thank you for staying tuned thank you for all the comments thank you for the interaction going on on the channel if you are new on this channel thank you for joining me thank you for subscribing so um before i go on i want you to listen to what i said when i was to do that video before you come and crucify me because whatever your god of man says is always the final they can never go wrong of course, so many other pastors, but I'm going to take them as a case study because um, I saw a video about Pastor Adeboye where he was apologizing. And I really want to, I really like to know what he's apologizing for. And um, unfortunately, I couldn't get hold of the full video, but the little I got is what I'm going to talk about because it actually, the, the video is very short, but full of meanings. So... That was my intro in that video. I made mention that I couldn't get hold of the full video number one. And I made reference to it that I don't know what he was apologizing for. So that should tell you a lot. And I told you in that video that I would take it back to the recent happenings and the way Pastor Kumuyi, you remember if you watch the full video, I actually mentioned Pastor Kumuyi and the way he has come out to talk about Etai that air tie, that people who tie air tie 24 hours, their hair smells. In those days, I said he never said that. And I always say when I'm talking, I'm not talking to the new generation. I'm talking to the old generation. They will understand some my, I mean, some of my talk is directed to the new generation and few is directed to the old generation. Most of the old generation, they can't talk. They, I don't want to say they are hypocrites. I don't want to say... Uh, but they are so indoctrinated that even if they see the truth, they run away from it because that is what we are made to do. My generation is made, I mean, is, was bred. We were bred to, we were brought up to run away from the truth. We were brought up not to face the truth. We were brought up not to confront or challenge anything we were told. What we were told is that do it, don't question. So for some people, somebody like me coming out is a shock to many of them and they can't wrap it around their head. For the new generation, they don't understand where I am coming from and why I'm saying this. And um, this is now going to take me, I will let us watch what Baba said, then I will talk. Some people came, luckily enough under the comments, I look at comments, at least I try to follow as much as I can. So I saw somebody who left a link and said, this is the full video. You need to watch the video again. And I watched the video over and over and over again. And I stand on my points. That what is Baba apologizing for? Is he truly doing an apology or he still needs to do apology? And to who does he need to do apology? But I want you to watch the video. Then I will talk. Our leaders, thank you for inviting me to share with you at this meeting. I, I wish I could come. Unfortunately, it's just impossible for me to come. Thank you for honoring me by giving me uh, a topic to discuss with you. But you will please permit me to put the topic aside because I feel led of the Holy Spirit to speak to you straight from my heart, not a sermon, just to share. Uh, shall we say as an elder to a younger generation? 
I want to beg you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You see, I, I, I don't want to embarrass you, but honestly speaking, I would have gone on my knees to say what I'm about to say. There's no doubt about it that the older ministers, older Pentecostal ministers, might have one or two issues. <laughs> but so do our parents, our old parents, our mothers, biological, our fathers, biological. They are not modern. I'm talking of our biological parents. But we still value them because they did not go to the universities, they, do, they don't know about Greek, they don't know about Hebrews, but they have certain information that you don't get in any university. I remember very well when I was trying to get my mom to be born again. She was telling me that, look, you boy, before I married your father in 1910, I had been a Christian. I wasn't rude to her. I didn't tell her, look, mama, things have changed. The Christianity you say you understood in those days, no, 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 no. I humbled myself before her. I told her to tell me a little bit about her experience as a Christian. And she told me some very wonderful, moving stories about how they used to fight all those idol worshipers who would bring charms to the front of the door. And the catechist, that's all they had there, would come with his Bible, wave the Bible over whatever charm was placed in front of the church and then kick it out of the way. Time sent it ablaze. I listened with awe at some of the experiences that she shared with me. But then, very humbly, I asked, can you remember a particular stage where you said, I do to Jesus? Because he is the husband of the church. And for a woman to be married, she has to say, I do to the husband. I, I use wisdom. And God helped me. Finally, she understood what I was talking about, and she gave her life to Jesus. And very humbly, I began to talk to her about baptism in the Holy Spirit. And when I found that things were getting a bit slow, I had to use other people to help me reach out to her. Finally, she got baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Beloved, I'm begging you. The older generation of Pentecostals, they have issues. I know I'm one of them. But they have experience. There are certain things you don't learn in any Bible college. There are certain things that can only be learned as you travel along this way. There's a lot you can gain from them. Please, I'm begging you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, don't let pride rob you of some tremendous things you could gain from these older generations. 
And believe me honestly, whether you know it or not, they are going. If the Lord tarries now, many of us will soon be gone. And once we are gone, we are gone. So before we go, now that particularly we, these older brothers have humbled themselves in reaching out to you, respond. Please, I beg you, respond. You have a lot to gain. Ask our president, Bishop Walioke. Whenever we had an opportunity to hold a meeting of people who gather together um, under the title of apostles, and one of the younger people, and among the people who gathered there by the grace of God, I think I am the oldest of them, who asked one of the people to share. And I would sit down there and listen. And after they finish sharing, when everybody is commenting, I always kept quiet because I had a lot to learn. The old has a lot to learn from the, from the new. But don't let the new think that they know it all <laughs> because they don't. That's the truth of the matter. Ask Bishop Walioke. He will tell you that after everybody has spoken, to show you that I learned something, I will now go over the sermon that whoever preached had preached. Point by point by point. And many a times, I will come out with some 14 crucial points that he had raised. Many a times more than 14. So much that even the preacher will say, I didn't say that, and I would say, well, you said this, and this one followed. Let us learn one from the other. Whatever you want to say is wrong with the elder ones. They've played their part. God is going to judge them on the fact that they did the best they could based on their limited knowledge. But many of them are on the way out. Grab them now. And please, you will need to respond positively before it is too late. The Almighty God will bless your meeting. He will be with you at the gathering. He will prosper your ministry as he has been doing, he will take you higher and higher and higher. And I pray that on the last day in the kingdom of God, we will all be there. Thank you. Now, that is the full video where that clip came from. I am glad I said in my video, for those who don't know who Pastor Adebo is, pardon me. This is Pastor Adeboye. E.A. Adeboye is the general overseer of Redeem Christian Church of God worldwide. Um, in the past, there are some there has been some rules guiding the rules of being a worker in Redeem. And these days we find that those rules are changing. So I saw this video, a short clip where he was saying, I will need if I need to go on my knees, just like the full video you just watched, that I will go on my knees. That you cannot say because your parents have made mistakes in the past, indoctrinating you into wrong things. That is what they know. That is wh what they feel. That is what they think is right for you. That now you might be having some information that is contradictory. That you will not beat your mother. You will not beat your father. Other than accept them for who they are. And you know that whatever they say. It is not as if everything that he say is bad. So that was what Pastor Adeboye said in that short clip. In the short clip, I said, I got. And somebody said, Auntie, in fact, not one person, not two. And that was that is why I'm doing this video. 
they said you didn't get hold of the video this is not what he's saying and i went to look at the video um in the video he was talking to the new generation pastors of pentecostals that they should not blame them the old generation pentecostal pastors that they might have indoctrinated some people you can prove me wrong if i'm getting it wrong again that what they did in the past some things they said in the past they might have been wrong in some things but it does not mean they are totally wrong that if he needs to apologize to them to make things right he is ready to that as they go into the next that is they take over from them they should be careful what they are putting out there so that it will not mislead or mislead people now i am going to take you to the time i was in redeem i joined him i started questioning some things as at that time and one of the things i started questioning is questioning was how come we have classical and we have model parish are we not equal before god i asked that question very well but of course it is my husband that was always asking as the pastor then in those days you cannot leave your hair uncovered to go to redeem but i find out that the redeeming abroad they were leaving hair uncovered and baba would still go and minister and nobody was questioning so i was asking that question baba also said in his word he said the old older pentecostal leaders he is not doubting that they have issues one of the issues was that baba did baba kumuyi remember deeper life members don't watch tv in those days many children were deprived of tv in those days um, even at a point when internet was coming the rubbish internet and today what do we have we have all of them on social media now i'm now going to take it back to their children like I said, they deprive many of us of living our youths. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. Not knowing all those things are not sin per se. There are worst sin they are supposed to focus on and preach on. They were not preaching on it. They were preaching on Pentecost on, on uh, prosperity. Which is what the new generation pastors have been inherited from them. All the other things they were preaching, the new generation pastors are not preaching it. And I want to believe that is why Baba is talking and saying, if he has to go on his knees, that he believed there are some things that the older generation Pentecostal pastors, they, they actually have issues. That is, they put out heresy. That is, they preach what is not right that is they preach what they feel in their own mind they preach their own hallucination they preach their own heresy so some of us and we live by it and what do we have now look at this picture that is leke adeboye and the wife look at their ear cuts look at the color of the air in those days they no born you way make a court style on your head as a worker you will be suspended now my question is what changed in fact if you ask me even though they will not come out and apologize to the congregation as a whole if you ask me baba needs baba Wadeboye, Kumi, and many some of them of those old generation pastors they need to come to the public and apologize to my generation when I'm talking about my generation, I'm talking about people born in the 60s. They really mess up our generation. And that is why some of um, some of this, our period, our, that is why you, if you are a young person, some things you will see in your parents doing that you cannot see, that you feel is odd, is from these pastors. It is what we were preached to. It is what they made us believe. It is what they tell us. This mentality of going to church seven times a week, 
was what they preached to us. This mentality of praying 24-7 before God can hear us, it was the pre what they preached to us. So they need to apologize if you ask me. So I stand on what I said in that video. They are the ones that preach divine health. Now what do we see? They, we see them changing their mouth. Is it God that changed the Bible or they preach what they wanted? Now, they preach that we should buy handkerchief. Touch the achia. Touch your head. You saw the video I did on MFM where MFM was telling the members to have stickers on their possession as if the sticker can keep them from danger or from illness. These are people who have access to first class doctors, medical personnel, medical assistance, medical help anytime they need it. And these are the people preaching divine health to some people. If you have lost your loved ones from their preaching, if your loved ones' life has been spoiled from their preaching, for example, now that everybody knows that, for instead of you going to pray for child fruit of the womb, go and seek medical help. And when it's not working, go and find solution to adopt or have a surrogacy to have a baby for you. Have they even started preaching that? There are a lot of things they have preached in the past. The shame will not let them come out and say it. So I stand on that video. Okay? Because I see some of you. Once you talk about all these people, you've taken them to be God, right? They should not die. They should live forever. They are your God. Because I even saw a comment. Somebody had, had, had attacking my widowhood. Look at this other video. I mean, this other picture. That is um, Kumuyi's son. When he was to get married, what did he do? He got married to a woman. This is somebody that we say you must marry in deeper life. At a point, I brought out that video too. It's on the, it's on the, on the, on the, on the video list. Where at a point he said... If you don't marry a deeper life member and some mumus are coming out that eh, even if he said it in those days, he has changed it. What about the people whose lives was destroyed or was put on standstill because of that kind of preaching? And no husband today, no child, no grandchildren because they should be grandparents by now. What, what about those people? How can you make amends to change or undo what you have done to those people? His own child when he was to marry got married to a lady who used makeup. In those days, redeem and deeper life, CS and the rest, you don't put makeup. Now that a lot of people have having an opportunity to come to abroad, they will see them come to minister in churches where people put loud mistake, lipstick, even the workers wear trousers. In those days, you don't wear trousers as a redeemed member. And you say, the apology he makes was not no baba cannot come to the congregation cannot come to the public and say we are sorry we did this wrong we did this wrong they won't do it because if they do it they will not now they see the old new generation pastors are changing a lot of things they have done not only changing it they are even more worse because they didn't preach moderation. All they preached was that don't do, don't do. Anything you do is a sin. Trouser is a sin. Kumuyi's wife, um, five wife-in-law. Look at the girl, daughter-in-law. She put on makeup. Deeper life don't wear lace. She wear lace, even short sleeve. We all remember the katakata that that dressing cost with makeup. Even her hair was pumped. And yet she was accepted as a wife have you thought of families that their parents rejected their wives that somebody they love to marry and today that family is not talking because that son went to marry a girl that they consider a sinner have you thought of that woman that did not does not have husband today that is a grandmother age who could not get a husband because they feel the man she went to bring is from another church and today she couldn't find an older man. And today, she's a grandmother. But, I mean, she's an old woman. No child, no husband. They cannot undo what they have done. But they have done a lot of damages. I am glad that we have access to information now. We have access to a lot of things. Anybody that allow any pastor to lie to them, and they take it 
swallow it, drink it is as gari. That is their problem. Today, Pastor Kumuyi's wife that he married in London, the woman flaunts her hair. Colorful dresses is what she wears. The woman dresses in beautiful colors, which was not the trademark of deeper life in those days. Deeper life of those days are not so colorful. They wear, you will see them and you will think they are mourning. Even up to now, you can still it reflecting in some of their members. They are here. They are watching me. They are cursing me. It is one of them that was even one of, I don't know whether I redeem, whether I may um, with, um, deeper life. That is even on my page telling me, say, no wonder. That is why you are a widow. This picture is another picture of Mike Bamiloye's daughter. What do you see on her head? Attachments. That same attachment is what his fa our father used to do, used for movie in those days, that they call a Yamatanga. For our generation, they made us feel attachment is snake. And you say we should not talk about these pastors? Sorry, I am old enough to talk about them. If any one of them, like my, my pastor, my um, uh, Bamiloye, is just like a senior brother to me, not even my father's age. Okay, Baba Deboye, I'm old enough to be. In fact, it's, it's like I and his first child are age mates. So I'm talking, I can talk to him as a father. Benny, for the fact that I once I was once a redeemed member. What is Baba apologizing for? What is he apologizing for? This is the same. That is Lorenzo, your, uh, Mike Bamiloye's daughter with attachments. Long attachment self that he told us was snake and you say we keep quiet when i tell you all these pastors in fact the junior ones are following suit they will make you leave their hallucination they will make you leave their own doctrine to keep you under bondage to enslave you so that you continue to serve them why don't we find all these things in all the other churches that are not owned by one man all this nonsense, you only find them in one-man churches. Don't do this. Don't do that. And the same thing they will tell you not to do, that at the end of the day, years to come, you will cry. It's what their children are doing. I told you a story of Samu and Deborah. It's on my page, on this channel. Go and watch it. This uh, Debbie, that Peking, according to information, the video is there. Go and type it and watch it. Let them be fooling you until they destroy your life. Remember, especially you women, I put you in a life. Or come all day. Let them be the one to choose husband for you. Let them be the one to tell you how to look for husband and how to see your husband in the dream. Mm. May you not see the husband that will beat your life into, that will be the one that will mess your life up in the dream. She be not go deep. Upon all the said and the same people in the dreams, these are the same people that will arrange husband for their children once they know they are coming of age. Before time will go, so people will not question them. They will not question their power. The same Baba boy that is always saying, My daddy said, Father said, Is it not still the same one concerning Nigeria? Somebody that has always prophesying, My father said, This time next year, the, 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 the Kinikon shall be over, the storm shall be over. It is a year of multiple blessing. It is a year of Kinikon for Nigeria. Is it not the same one that came out? Egba wao, olo du mare, olu wao, egba wao. She be, he speaks, he wakes, he sleep, he eats with God. So is God not talking again? Even when they ask him to pro to talk about um, the 2023 election, he say God no talk to Ram. So God, <laughs> God choose when to talk and when not to talk. Let them be fooling you. So when Baba Deboye go, who will be talking for Nigeria again? Who will God be using to talk to Nigeria? Anyway, they are talk. This one will talk his own. That one will talk to his own. That is to tell you, religion, all these things, they, they are the one doing it by themselves and they think this is the way you should live. The way the them winners will tell you to live. It's what, this kind of preaching was one of the reasons why redeem and winners were not friends in those days. Go and ask people of my generation. Redeem and winners they were not family because winners feel redeem is too jim jim 
redeem feels winner is worldly in those days because winners they wear trousers they've been wearing trousers to minister since you will see the acquire members with trousers they lift their head they pump their head they flaunt it in redeem we have classica we have pente mode even till now mode parish you will see their wives with beautiful wig expensive dresses and jewelry Modia parish they are like deeper life so the same god right is the one that divided even one church in that way and you say that god they are serving you are saying they serve the god that created everybody ah, are they different from racist who feel one is better and the other one is not better and of course they cannot dictate to model parish and i will tell you why model parish they are getting the money Ah, no, 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 no. Go and look at uh, Pastor Idulo Wudowilu, your mother's wife. The woman trendy die. She's sabi dressed. She no saint. She no saint. And as she did, if not those days, when Redeem just started, they would talk and talk. But because they know what is coming from the city of David, the kind of tight offering and whatever coming from there, no church, no parish, all over the world can match what is being done in the city of David. So the wife, the woman, in the pastor's wife there, she dresses, go and look at her dressing, she no care, she no saint. How come that same God she worship is different from the one the modern parishes worship? Please use your brain. Don't let them cook your brain and chop finish. Don't let them do what? Cook your brain. If they cook your own, as they cook our own, where we don't come out of it, but some things are still there. Don't let them cook your children's uh, brain, brain. Already their children are taking over. Already the way you have served them as a servant is the way your children will serve as a servant. And if here is not taking, your children's children will serve their grandchildren. And your grandchildren will be saying, I receive. The way you said you receive, the way your children are saying, I receive. And the way your grandchildren we say they receive and they will say they receive while they are own children, their grandchildren and yet children yet unborn will be going higher and they will be telling you the God they serve by the God of this commission. Because you are the one working with their commission. You are working to fulfill their destiny for them while you put their own, your own destiny in coma. You are working to enrich their generation yet unborn while your own generation yet unborn. You don't have solution. You don't know what to do to get out of it. Other than think you think by praying, you will get out of it. Wake up. For every slave that escape, there will be one that will be vocal. And I'm one of the ones that are vocal. So deal with it on this page. Either you are ready to stay on my page. Or please exit. For all the subscribers... I appreciate you. For those ones who are cursing me, there is a lady who cursed me. I don't know you, but my creator, who knows the intents of what I am doing, who is the judge of all, may he visit your home. The way he visited me, and I became a widow at 36. May he visit your home and make you and your children, if you escape it, your children will not escape it. For that comment you left on my page, on my channel, that why won't I be a widow? Because I can talk. Go and ask people who know me before. I don't talk. I'm not this vocal. But be, when you have gone through some things in life, is either you become damaged or you become strong and have a voice. And that is what you are singing. And I, like I always say, nobody can take this voice. Nobody, I repeat. Until I come your way again, I remain yours real talk with Auntie Aduni. Those are people who call themselves Christians. And the next thing they want to do is to mock your pain. The next thing they want to do, because you have talked about a man. From everything I have been talking, you've never seen me talk bad about churches that are not owned by one man. I only focus on the ones owned by one man because of their selfishness. And because you, you're the slaves. You are a slave. Yes. You fighting on their behalf. You fighting to come fight me. You are nothing but a slaves in chain. And I hope, I wish one day, your chain and the scales covering your eyes will be removed. And if it doesn't remove, may you permit in that slavery. It's your choice. 
So if Baba is feeling that the new generation, you know, like he said, that uh, some parents, that uh, because you can't say your parents is this, is that. Of course, we know our parents, some things they say in the past, how they chain us to all the things our old parents in, in our, as African children do. We know some of the things they say is just to keep us in bondage, not because it is true. So that is essence in what Baba is saying. So if Baba is saying this in essence and is telling the new generation pastors that he knows that in those days uh, they have issues as old kids something and he can apologize to them, then he can as well apologize to our set too. Yes, he can as well apologize to our set too. And on this note, I want to say thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching this video. I would like to read from you. Um, it's just an extension of the last video because the video con generated a lot of controversy and i've brought out the full video what do you think baba is saying here how will you relate if you are my generation in my generation how will you relate it to how they made us to live this new generation cannot understand thank you very much